finally caved and bought myself a Nintendo Switch. Ever since we started lockdown, I have been thinking about buying one of these, maybe not buying one, not sure either way, adding it to my cart and then deleting it later. It's going on and on and I realise it's almost been a year I'd been thinking about, oh, maybe I should buy one, maybe I shouldn't. So that I decided more to just get it off my mind, I'm going to buy one. So I did. And there are lots of reasons why I shouldn't buy one. Um, firstly, uh, they're expensive for what they are, I think. Um, secondly, I, I don't really have the time to be playing on a Nintendo. So I don't know when I'm going to find the time to use this properly. I'm sure I will, but I should probably be doing other things with my time. I don't know about you, but I feel terribly guilty if I watch a film or if I watch a lot of TV. The guilt can sometimes uh, be not overwhelming, but unpleasant. I think I should be doing something more productive or more important. But having said that, um, time enjoyed is not time wasted, right? So if I am enjoying it and I'm only regretting um, the possibility for there to have been an opportunity to do something more productive, then that's probably a bit silly as well. So. Anyway, I bought one, and uh, I bought this, the teal coloured one, simply because it was the cheapest bundle. It came with Animal Crossing, which has been reviewed by the Guardian newspaper um, uh, very favourably, and they, called, they named it their, their Game of the Year, which is actually, that was the final, um, uh, the final straw, really, I thought, well... I'm missing out on something that now has some cultural significance, particularly to 2020, uh, because a lot of people have been escaping uh, the rather miserable circumstances of the year by playing this rather cute, sweet game. And I don't like to miss out. So this bundle had everything I wanted for a, a, a good price. Um, but that's the only reason why I went with the, the teal. Usually, pretty much everything I buy is either grey or black. Uh, I, I just prefer it. But, I actually really rather like this. This has grown on me now. I like that this is brightly coloured because I think that's what a switch should be. You don't buy a Switch, and you don't buy anything from Nintendo because uh, it's in any way serious or sensible. You buy it for big, bright, bold, primary colours. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, as I say, I think this is growing on me. And um, I'm pleased I got it. Uh, since unpacking this, I've also bought Mario Kart because I'll be playing that with other people, hopefully. And I bought Mario Odyssey because I have read that that is that, along with Breath of the Wild, is meant to be one of the best games that you can buy for the system. And perhaps I'll do a, some videos of me playing those, if that's of interest. I do like the colour. It does look nice, actually. I'm surprised I like it. I don't often treat myself to, to things like this, so it's quite... It's quite a joy to have a, a toy. <laughs> um, in 
fact, I I was able to buy this because I had a, a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but I had some Bitcoin I'd bought ages ago for nothing that was suddenly worth quite a bit, so I sold it all because it wasn't worth, it was worth um, a small amount. And uh, if I held on to it, it wasn't going to be a life-changing amount of money. So I decided to cash it out while it was surely overpriced, although that will probably come back to bite me in the bum. I'm sure I'm going much higher, because I'm always getting things like that wrong. But I sold it off and bought myself, bought myself a toy with it. If any of you have any recommendations for games on this system, do let me know in the comments. And do like and subscribe this vid to this. Do like this video, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these types of things or want to see more from me. If at all possible. Just helps me to figure out what's working and what's not working. I know that there aren't many of you, um, but I really appreciate the few of you that do stick around. It's so nice. Particularly during these weird times, it's just nice to have a community and a connection with people from all over the world. I do apologise if the zip here is a bit too loud. It wasn't as smooth as I was hoping. Oh yes, uh, I bought this case separately as well. It wasn't part of the bundle, but I thought it would probably need a nice case to go with it. Ah, uh, here my tiny brain gets a little bit confused with the... the <laughs> I do something very stupid there. Look at that. What a silly thing. I immediately thought, well, that's not right. And then I realised, ah yes, you just push it under. Um, yes, quite a nice case. Sturdy, discreet, nice colour. Good sound to it as well. And the case came with a screen protector. I usually don't use screen protectors, but because the screen on the Nintendo Switch is plastic, I decided to put one on because plastic scratches a lot easier than glass, in my experience, so I wasn't going to risk it. And who knows, I might end up selling this later in the year if I get buyer's remorse or if I just don't use it that much. I hope I am able to use it because um, I bought it. <laughs> using my coloured light again in this video, but unfortunately I, I set it to the same colour as the, as the switch here, but it's, the, the, it's almost like the teal of the switch in the box, so bright that it's, it's sucking up. <laughs> I should have chosen a contrasting colour, that's what I'm trying to say doesn't quite work here, you don't really get a sense of the teal light at all. More so with the white. But yes, I, I got this over the standard switch because um, I'm, I'm more often likely to be on the move. Not, not now, obviously, but this won't last forever, these circumstances won't last forever. Um, this too shall pass, and in my normal life I'm, I'm coming and going all the time, so something portable for me would have more longevity and more likely to use it. And uh, who knows, maybe they'll update the main one in a few years and I can buy one of those if I really want to play it on a TV. A 
little smoother with the zip there that time. Anyway, thank you very much for listening and watching. Just a short one today, but I hope it was relaxing. I've included the sounds of this too, which I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you again in the next video.